Welcome back, creators. Today, we're diving into the future of laser engraving with the latest update from Xtool. Creative Space 2.0 Beta is packed with features that redefine how we imagine, design, and create. Let's get started. Homepage adds a new section that helps you manage your previously opened projects. A recent section now keeps track of your local XCS files, which makes it much quicker to open projects that you worked on in the past. Here you can also see some of Xtool's recommended and trending projects that have been created by other users. Clicking on a project opens up a window where you can get more information. It is nice to see the option to open the project directly in XCS. Cloud projects have been named MySpace and contain any projects that you recently uploaded to your cloud account. This is still limited to 10 designs, but there are future plans to expand this to more. Let's move on to the new workspace layout. Let's click on new project on the homepage. Here we are introduced to the new updated UI. Let's do a quick overview of some of those changes. Some of the items that were previously in the toolbar now live under this X button in the top left corner of XCS. Clicking on it will display, file, edit, help, and settings. The left side menu has stayed relatively unchanged from version one. Clicking the plus lets you add an image or SVG. Text has been updated to allow you to type directly in the text box. Here you can add a line, rectangle, or circle. Next is Vector. This allows you to quickly draw some shapes. Shape is a small library of some really nice icons, borders, and patterns. XArt remains unchanged, but allows you to generate some images using your X tool points. Finally, Grid Array, Circular Array, Material Test Array and the QR code have been moved to a new application section. Now onto the top bar. Your canvases have been relocated here and you can add and rename them from this menu. We really like this improvement because you get little previews of each canvas. Undo and redo remain the same. The select and hand tool have moved from the bottom of the screen to the top. Device settings and selection has now been repositioned to the center of the top bar along with framing and process. We will go over the device section in a minute. The big changes to the processing menu are for the material and processing path options. We will cover this in a later part of the video. The object menu has all the settings you know and love, but the parameters have moved to a separate pop-up panel here. Your designing tools, positioning, resizing, and outline tools have also been moved from the top bar to the object bar here. All of these tools have the same functionality with one notable new addition coming to the Align tool. If you have your design selected and do Horizontal Align Center and Vertical Align Center, it will align the design to your workspace. Neat. Finally, in the Object panel, we have Vector Editing, which will also be covered at a later part of the video. Now, let's quickly check out the Device section. For those who have multiple machines, you can now easily switch between devices here. That will help you run multiple projects or do quick batch engravings of the same file on all your machines. So cool. You can also access your machine settings and get help by clicking on the three dot button here. Now onto material settings. This is hands down one of the coolest features that Xtool has added. Let's say I want to engrave our logo on a nice wooden log coaster, but I have never done that material before. Typically, we would set up a new test array, but Xtool has made it really easy. I will start by clicking on User Defining Material and select the 10 mm wood coaster. If we select our logo and open up the parameter panel, we can see this new Easy Set Grid. It shows us examples of what settings. But what makes this even cooler is that you can now click on the specific look you want and those settings will be applied. Amazing. Xtool has added a ton of materials and will be adding more in the future. Up next, auto planning updates. This makes the F1 even faster, which is amazing for such a small and portable design. Smart path calculation is now part of auto planning 
or can be enabled in the user defining section. This new feature will calculate the quickest way to engrave your design instead of just engraving from the top to the bottom. We recently did a short comparing the differences in engraving time and it has been working great. You can see that XCS V2 on top finishes before the old version of auto planning. Layers have received a very exciting update as well. We now have the ability to lock the positioning of layers. This is great news for all of us who like creating jigs and templates, since now you can't accidentally move any of your layers. Another great addition is that you can see each object, not just the colored layers, which makes selecting the correct design even easier. Next, we have vector editing. Have you ever downloaded an SVG just to see that there is some sort of additional point that is messing up your engraving? Well, now all you have to do is double click on your SVG and this will allow you to delete or move those points without an additional editing software. Here are a few more smaller changes. We now get an estimated processing time for the F1 before we hit start. You are able to preview the engraving path. And finally, we get multiple project support. We can go into File, look for another XCS file, and when we open, we can see another tab pop up on the top. So cool, and a very, very welcome feature. That's all for today. The official version of XCS2 will be coming out soon. If there is anything that you guys would like to see a more in-depth video on, let us know. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and stay creative.